guys welcome back to the channel I am worn out I have that U joint completely pulled oh man uh, one of the caps stuck under the truck it fell off um, these two look decent this one's bone dry rust uh, all of the um, needle bearings are not in there and some of them of course oh, let's see are broken come on there see that one's broken so some of them are broken but that is completely rusted out um i've already compared sorry i am pouring buckets of sweat and i've got heart palpitations going on i've had multiple heat strokes in my life so i can't really handle the heat like I used to when I was younger but anyway um, this is the replacement of course it's greasable just like these were so you know if you see these do match up they're the same and then if you take one of these caps here and let me get this out of the way and show you guys that the diameter is the same so it's a perfect match so right now I'm working on taking all of these um, oh, that's not where that goes that goes here this one goes over there anyway um, I'm working on one or the second one I mean sorry and um, I watched a, a guy pull his um, carrier bearing off of his one or 350 the other night and I noticed in the comments someone said you didn't show the uh, 33 millimeter nut apparently with the four wheel drives this in here has a nut that keeps this from sliding off so you have to completely disassemble this which is what I was working on that's why that snap ring is out and that snap ring is out and then there's one here oh that's the last one i have to pull out so i pulled three off of this one and then of course there's this one but um with the two wheel drives i guess that there isn't uh a nut because this just slipped right out uh so there was one person like i said that person commented and said how come you didn't show the nut i guess all of them don't have that because i thought i was gonna have to um go and buy a new socket because i don't have a 33 i have a size 32 millimeter and i have a 37 mil yeah i have a 32 millimeter and a 34 and a 37 millimeter but i do not have a 33 um what i was going to try and do is once i got that off i have a um a vice crescent wrench and if you guys have never seen anything like that before let me show you what i'm talking about it's a vice crescent wrench it's actually really cool and i love it let me get this out of the way so i'm talking about this bad boy right here this is a vice crescent wrench from duralast i got it also from autozone but it also has a measure you can measure the width of this thing on both sides of course um yeah it has a lifetime warranty on it so even though i busted this end off and i could replace it it still functions so there's no need for me to replace it but yeah what you do is you adjust it to where you need it if it'll let me there we go okay so let's say that's where your nut is so i could go straight in on it like that lock it in place and then I could actually take, let me close this back. So say I had that locked in place on that 33 millimeter that I was working with. I could lock that in place, put that in straight on, and then take that big boy right there, those big channel locks, and I can uh, grip onto the uh, vice crescent wrench and turn it. And I would have been able to get that loose if that were the case. But uh, let me pause the video and go get the um, 
my uh, carrier bearing puller. I want to show you guys how that works. And I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. So here's my carrier puller. <coughs> I'm probably going to have to take me a breather. But yeah, the way it works is... So you've got this hook that comes up and this hook that goes down on the arm. Now, let me set this up and then I'll show you guys um, how it is you do it. Oh. This heat is, is definitely hot today. Oh. I think it's about 5 in the afternoon. Let me see what time it is. Yeah, it's 5.43. And the real fill is still over 100 degrees. I really need a shop. Because like I said, I cannot handle the heat like I used to. Before, I ran around and played in this. And now, it feels like this is going to be my undoing. But, yeah. Um... Uh, Jeez, maybe I should have had this adjusted before making you guys have to sit here and stare at my my tailgate. I'm almost there. There we go. Let it spin freely. Looks like a circus act. Come on. I hope this works. I'm not sure if it will. But if not, if this doesn't work, there is another uh, option that I have. Let's see here. Jeez. Don't tell me this isn't long enough. Oh, I'm actually going to end up trimming this video. Because I'm not going to have you guys sitting here waiting on me to try and figure out how this works. I should have had this set up prior to filming. And for that I apologize. Whew. Yeah, I do not believe that this puller is going to work. Alright guys, so I'm having to stop. I uh, almost ended up passing out a couple times. Um, it felt like heat stroke setting in. I've had, like I said, I've had heat stroke three times in my life, so I think I would know better than anyone what it feels like when you're about to have a heat stroke. But um, I'll probably pick this up tomorrow. It's just, it's just too sweltering hot. Um, last night I came outside and checked the temperature at like 11, 30, 12 o'clock at night, and it was still like in the 90s that's how bad the humidity was but yeah um i've got the new carrier bearing on um i don't know if i need to push it on a little bit more i noticed there's a little bit of a gap there so um i made that it's two inches of um conduit it's the pvc um and i used um where to go that hammer to beat it on so, like I said, if it's not on far enough, I can t push it on a little bit more. But my health is a little more important than making a YouTube video or putting this truck back together. I can do that anytime. So, for the rest of the day, I'm just not doing anything. Um, this heat is not anything to play with, and people die from this kind of heat yearly. Um, so... You know, if you guys are in the deep south, or if you're just anywhere where the heat gets way too hot, you know, stay hydrated, stay in the shade, you know, do not go outside unless you absolutely have to. Um, other than that, you know, 
don't be afraid to enjoy life. You know, I'm not trying to be one of those people that give scare tactics and, you know, make life so unbearable you can't even enjoy it. The fact of the matter is, you know, sometimes it just gets so ridiculously hot, it's best to just sit down. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, there's the old bearing. And I mean, that thing was shot. Um, so, like I said, the new one is on. And uh, now all I have to do is take that bear um, U-joint off along with that one down there. I already got that one off. That's the one that goes towards the uh, pumpkin or the differential. Uh, that one. But this one needs to come off i'll do that tomorrow and i'll finish taking that one off but like i said i almost fell over because i was kneeling down uh taking this off and i almost face planted the ground and i said you know what that's it that's enough you know it's not worth my health so um i appreciate you guys for watching and supporting my channel and I will continue to make videos, but I'm having to call it quits for today. Thanks for watching.